Okay, I don't know if I've ever gone through and told everyone all the modifications to the bike. Uh, it's an 04 Sportster XL 883 standard bike which basically came with no chrome at all. Uh, over the years that I've owned it, I've thrown some goodies at it. Thought I'd go through them front to back. Uh, first we have dual front discs. None of the standards, only the, I think the R models came with dual discs. Uh, let's see here, of course had to do the brake hoses. We have a headlight visor, a tool bag with no tools in it. It's an evolution. Don't need them. Uh, we have a windshield complete with a damn jarhead sticker. Uh, more jarhead paraphernalia on top of the bars. The bars are buckhorns. These came with low bars. Uh, the risers are four inch chrome with a three quarter inch spacer underneath. Instrument stock. Uh, let's see where else are we. A kryptonite lock and mount. A stupid bell, I mean gremlin bell. Uh, let's see here. I did chrome kits. I did the rocker boxes, only the top piece, not the bottom. I did the little chrome uh, constant velocity carburetor cover. Kiriok and hypercharger, which I pieced together with used parts off of eBay, because disabled vet, I can't afford the damn thing. Currently we have a set of inexpensive drag pipes on it. It'll eventually get vents and Heinz long shots after my Samson Caliber exhaust disintegrated. Uh, we have the lower end chrome kit, and then uh, just to set it off a little bit, I did wrinkle black in the center of the points cover and the hypercharger. We have both sides chrome side covers. We have the chrome upper belt guard, chrome lower belt guard, chrome pulley. Uh, the seat is a 883 Custom, which is pretty much the lowest thing you can get. Uh, let's see here, continuing on, going to the ass end. We've got a fancy doodad sissy bar that doesn't do a goddamn thing. Works good for holding bungee cords. Lay down plate holder. Uh, standard tail light lens with chrome trim and a blue dot. We have soft tail deluxe turn signals, so they're out of the way of the bags. Uh, the, the garters aren't uh, gayish, they're U.S. Marine Corps <laughs> silly doodads. Have another on this side. Anyway, let's see, did we get a detail of the paint? I suppose you can come up with a little bit of it on there, it's not really bright enough of a day to see it. The rear shock absorbers are 883 Customs also for uh, lower rear stance. Uh, didn't come with the rear seat, so I had to add the peg brackets, uh, added the chrome master cylinder, the chrome primary cover, uh, got rid of the original horn and put a traditional Harley horn on it. Gas tank in addition to the custom paint, which you can see the texture of, I don't know if you can see the quality, it's a nice paint. Uh, had a local welder plasma cut me a stainless piece so I can't clumsily bounce the gas nozzle off of the paint. And the teardrop shape, I think, is kind of attractive. It sets off the rest of the paint. Uh, throughout the bike, it's been detailed with chrome alloys. see the engine uh, immediately upon receiving the bike I disassembled it balanced and blueprinted everything every component weighs the same all the valves weigh the same all the rocker arms every part in the engine weighs the same uh, all the gears were undercut for speed shifting without using the clutch uh, I drilled lightning holes in all of the gears uh, let's see top end standard 883 pistons uh, never bored, never overhauled. I uh, had the heads off. I went ahead and ported and 
did a old school gray beard eyeball flow job by myself. When I did that, along with the porting, I went ahead and gave it a mirror polish, which is bad for atomization. So in order to gain my atomization back, I cut turbulator rifling into the intake manifold and both heads. So it gives the fuel air mixture a, a nice twist as it's applied to the cylinder. Uh, the bike will idle as slow as 350 RPM. Balancing everything really did wonders for the smoothness and how the little devil runs. Right on the verge of dying. That's pretty slow. Uh, she's a match for any 1200 that's relatively stock. with just the 883 cc's of displacement. Uh, this bike's currently at 34,000 miles. Runs like a Swiss watch. Uh, I had one electrical failure in the lifetime. It was just a corroded wire. Do take apart all of your wiring connections, folks. Clean them and apply dielectric grease to avoid corrosion problems. If you ride them in the rain, it's going to happen to every one of them. But all in all, couldn't be more pleased with the bike. Absolutely remarkable. Love the thing to death. It handles properly. Uh, this words aren't strong enough to describe how well I like it. Anyway, you folks have a good day and enjoy YouTube.